Hello, and welcome to this tutorial about the color corrector. The color corrector is an immensely versatile tool, so let's go through it step by step. On the top, you will see an area of buttons that allows you to access the various operations like colors, levels controls, histogram, and suppress. Each of these operations can be executed on the master channel, the shadows, the midtones and the highlights of an image independently. Let's stick with the Colors Master section to begin with. The color wheel allows you to tint your image. You can also change the hue or the saturation of your master channel. The following sliders again have an area of buttons on the top. So, values like contrast, gain, lift, gamma and brightness can either be carried out on all RGB channels or on the red, green and blue channel independently. Of course, this combines with the Master, Shadows, Midtones and Highlights button up here, as you can tell from the titles on the sliders themselves. So if I switch to Shadows, it will read Shadows, Blue Contrast, or Shadows, RGB Contrast, same for Midtones and Highlights. Reset all color changes will bring the Colors page back to its default settings. The Levels control allows you to modify the levels as you know from other programs. The histogram basically represents the amount of pixels of different luminance values, again in the RGB, the red, the green or the blue channel independently, so you can also modify these independent for each channel. And again you can set the histogram to work on the master, the shadows, the midtones or the highlights independently. The histogram area allows you to match the colors depending on an incoming image. In this case I have a modified version of my test image here, which you can pipe in the color correctors foreground input and in the histogram area select match. The color corrector will then try to create a correction curve for the red, the green and the blue channel independently to match the background image to the foreground image. If you are matching a sequence of images you should use the snapshot match time function which means that on a specific reference frame you snapshot the correction curve. This will prevent the result from flickering since Fusion will not try to create a correction curve on each and every single frame. There's also an option to use a match rectangle. That means you can specify which area of your image is used to sample both reference and result colors from. The suppress tab, again subdivided by master shadows, midtones, highlights, allows you to suppress individual colors on your image and also adjust the suppression angle to catch colors that do not fall explicitly on one of the primary colors you see here. The Ranges tab allows you to define which the shadows, the midtones and highlights of your image are, which then are used in the Shadows, Midtones, Highlights tabs in the Correction tab. To view the shadows, click on the Shadows option and modify the shadows range by using the histogram. The same can be done for the highlights. And as a rule of thumb, everything that is not inside the highlights or the shadows will be in the midtones. Press Preset Smooth to return to the default settings. You can also choose to create your shadows, midtones and highlights mask from the luminance channel, the red, the green 
the blue or the alpha channel of the image.